do that versus going and finding one of the giant vats of acid well, and uh, jumping into that thing. In fairness, though, if you jumped into a vat of corrosive acid, it's unlikely that any part of you will be found, right? Mm, that's true. Versus if he knew the science of this thing, although more of his bones should have been found if it was his entire skeleton. Well, here's the deal, though, is that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, I'm going on a limb here, I don't know the exact compound that they use of salt. But okay, as we all know, salt at room temperature is solid. And it might well be by the time they cooled it down enough to where they could actually get into it and search it, it might have solidified. Yeah, that's true. And so maybe they had to sort of chip through everything. Yeah, and, that's fair. And, and they the broke process. things up without, or didn't break things up enough to find the smaller fragments, maybe. Yeah, they might not have yeah. considered it worthwhile. Once they had some bones, that, that might have been enough. Mm-hmm. They didn't feel yeah. like they needed to like chip through the entire thing and try to extract every single bone, which, by the way, they weren't going to do without breaking them all up anyway, because mm-hmm. by the time they've been heated that much, they're going to be pretty fragile. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah so. so I but I guess to your point of, you know, finding the super corrosive acid, like if you want it to look like a, an accident, you still have to leave some you, evidence you got, of yeah. the accident. Yeah, right? but you still you still think he would have like, you know, put like a say a banana peel on the top of the thing. Or something. Yeah, right? something to well, make it look but like I mean, it was okay, an accident. but but in in looking forward at the next theory, if what we're going to talk about after we finish this up was what happened, then why did they throw him in something that would leave materials rather than throwing him in something that would completely destroy it? No, we'll talk about it when we get to that theory, there, though, but yeah. I just want to bring that up now so that we don't forget to talk about it. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, yeah, and um, I, yeah, I don't know, but, but back to the suicide thing, uh, if, if it was going to make it look like suicide versus an accident, well, you think he would have taken off his hard hat and his glasses at least. What? Yeah, or maybe not, but you know, well, well, not I mean, a requirement. If, you, if you're going to commit suicide, yeah, you don't give a rip. Yeah. I don't care that I'm wearing all my work gear. I'm just going to take just the gonna plunge. Just go plunge. Yeah, maybe. And if it's going to be an accident, if you're going to stage an accident, no investigator says, "Oh, weird. He took off his gloves and his hat and his glasses and then stumbled in." Like that mm-hmm. th- that that series of events wouldn't make sense to me. Yeah, I would agree with it that. It would make more yeah. sense that he had an accident and fell in with all of his gear. But he should have done something. He should have left a, like a rope or a piece of cable right there for him, for him to trip over or something. Or that, that, that this cardboard, the sign you see swinging on the end of the rope in the Looney Tunes ca- the uh, cartoons. Yeah. He should have just unhitched yeah. the velvet rope a little yeah. bit so it looked like, so, you know, it looked like it had been the Elvis was here. for a little yeah. bit so it looks like somebody had stumbled over it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, so I don't know about this one. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, about suicide, you mean? Yeah. yeah. No, this whole suicide theory It's more just plausible than an accident, but less plausible is. than some others to me. Yeah, it is. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, it's it just seems like it's it's entirely. Pl- I mean, it's entirely plausible to me, but again, there's not really any evidence for it. But yeah. then again, okay, let's look at give that one a maybe and move on to our next theory, which of course is murder. Da da da. Uh, no, murder, everybody's favorite. So again, assuming that that was Dave's you know, remains that were found in there, not that there much was found, uh, the prevalent theory out there, of course, is that Dave was murdered by his coworkers or somebody at the company because he was a whistleblower. What was he blowing whistles on? Uh, on on, on a, either national lead uh, you know, or the plant itself. I mean, uh, because again, national lead was running it, but they didn't actually own it, so maybe right. he was ratting out national lead to the government oh, or ratting okay. out Joe, Joe can you yeah. for people who aren't familiar with the the term whistleblower can you yeah. explain that for folks because not everybody yeah. knows that somebody who sees wrongdoing uh, at your company or, the, or within the government or whatever and reports it to the authorities or or maybe reports it to the press that kind of thing they're called mm-hmm. whistleblowers also you know one man's whiff whistleblower of course is one man and there's another man's just plain leaker Right. It just all depends. A lot of people people leak constantly. Julian Assange. Yeah, that kind of thing. When you when you leak, uh, you know, a lot of people leak for their own personal reasons, and then sometimes people will leak, and then when they get busted, they'll try to call themselves a whistleblower, like mm-hmm. that chick at the NSA who recently gave some documents to the press, and then she got busted for it, and uh, and then she tried to claim, oh no, I was a whistleblower. No, really not. I, isn't uh, is it Karen Silkwood? Isn't she considered? I mean, her death is mysterious, and that's mm-hmm. a whole other thing, and yeah. that's why the murder thing made me think of it. But isn't she considered a bit of a whistleblower? Yeah, I don't. I you know because she was in a nuclear reactor facility. She was in a, a nuclear facility. I don't. I don't remember. It's been so long since I read anything about that or you saw and me both, or anything. I can't is, remember if she actually ever actually did 
any actual whistleblowing, or she just died 